Rebecca Sklute in her very first book manages to uncover an incredible story behind the birth of perhaps the most famous cells in medical history known as HeLa cells. The story reflects on the attitude and ethics related to the field of scientific research back in the mid 20th century. This book can be referred to as an amalgamation of science and memoir but above anything else it is a biography of women that gave birth to a new door in medical science Sklut and her school years became curious about the life of Henrietta Lacks she worked for a decade to uncover the reason for intense resentment and helplessness of Henrietta's children who felt that their mother had been used by the medical establishment for their selfish purposes Henrietta Lacks a vivacious 31 year old african american woman lost her life to a severe case of cervical cancer. She was a tobacco farmer who tilted the same land as her slave ancestors. The story of immortal cells can be traced back to John Hopkins, where Henrietta was admitted. The negligence of diagnosing her negative and then positive for cancer was not an out of norm practice as it was a time when racism flourished. Her tumor cells were then removed without her or any of her family's consent. The cells cultivated were cultured, resulting in the creation of the immortal cell line. Faded in the cloud of anonymity, buried in an unmarked grave, and all that was left was the inspiring journey from the John Hopkins Tissue Culture Department to modern laboratory filled with the HeLa cells. Sklut gives this book a more natural and personal approach with her engagements with the Lacks family throughout the book and reflecting on their side of the story that had remained neglected. This book deduces that the best form of immortality is to live on in some way and make the world a better place. In the book, Rebecca Sklut introduces us to the real women, the children who survived her and how race, science, poverty played its part. Sklut manages to tell the story of Henrietta Lacks and the emotional ordeal of her family with the grace it deserved. It is not only a memoir but also a critique of science that insists on working in a one-dimensional way. The book is an earnest reflection of the trust between the author and the family of Lacks, especially when Lacks followed Sklut into the world of science, just as she had followed them into the world of faith. Sklut successfully manages to reinstate Henrietta Lacks as a person rather than just the parent cell from which the scientists developed cells that have been used to help with some of the most critical advances in the field of medicine polio chemotherapy in vitro gene mapping cloning